Right, if you're watching this, that means you messed up your shoulder and you're just about to get a surgery. So I'll give you a couple of pointers how to prepare yourself for what's to come. Because every case is different. This might be a little bit different experience for yourself, depending how you broke yourself and what kind of a damage you did to your shoulder. I flew through my handlebars, landing hard on my shoulder, dislocating it pretty gnarly, breaking the greater tuberosity, and I managed to snap three rotator cuffs in one go. First off, your sleeping is going to be a bit of a challenge, especially in the first two to four weeks. Get yourself either a recliner chair or a wedge pillow. Now, I've tried a couple of them. I've linked one below that worked for me. I sent a lot of them back because they weren't just tall enough. And even with the one I've got right now, I had to prop up with some pillows underneath just to make myself as vertical as I could. And the reason for that is it not only helps with the pain levels, but it also takes the pressure off the shoulder so it helps it to heal itself a little bit faster. In the retrospect, if I could, I would get a recliner chair. If you got space, find one on Facebook or Gumtree, even if you find one used, it will make your sleeping much more comfortable. Because sleeping is such a challenge, whenever you feel a little bit tired, use that to get some shut eye. You'll also need to move your significant other to the other room purely because there's no chance you'll be sleeping in the same bed. She's gonna be freaking out about touching your shoulder, you're gonna be freaking out about the same, no one's going to get any sleep. Number two is getting loads of oversized t-shirts or button shirts. Getting changed, you will need another person to help you out regardless of what you're gonna be wearing, but having that little bit extra room to move your arms in and out is gonna be an absolute godsend. After three days, you'll need to head the shower. So number three is getting good shower sling. And the best one I found was made out of neoprene. Again, I'll link one below. Probably there's loads similar to this one, but this made my life much easier under the shower. It's easy to get in and get out of. It dries really quickly and keeps your main sling nice and dry. The fourth thing is making sure you're on top of your meds and getting in a good painkiller routine is essential. I've made a huge mistake of coming back home after the surgery with nerve blockers still in me thinking you know what it's not that bad I will delay taking some painkillers till later. That was a mistake. I woke up after an hour and I couldn't get the pain under control and it was probably one of the most painful nights I ever had. It took about four hours to get the pain under control again. When you're coming back home make sure you're keeping to your painkiller schedule. Now, I was using MediSafe app. It saved my skin a few times, especially when you've got two different painkillers you need to take in certain intervals. It's easier to keep track of what's going on. And especially when you're in pain and both sleep deprived, it's sometimes really hard to remember what pill you took last time and what time you actually took it and whether you actually took it or not, because you'll be passing in and passing out all the time. So having an app like MediSafe, and I'm pretty sure there's others as well, is gonna make your life much, much easier. Number five is getting some meds that will help to protect the lining of your stomach, but also will help with the constipation, because trust me, the amount of painkillers you're gonna have in you will have some really adverse effects. Speak to your doctor before you get in surgery, so these are in place at your home when you come back from the hospital. And now there's a lot of people saying that, oh, you can use this downtime to learn a new language or pick up new skills. There's zero chance of you doing that. Depends on how badly you injure yourself. In my case, it was about four, to five weeks before I became sane again. For some people it might be faster, for some might be longer. Don't count on doing anything productive within those few weeks. Work can wait and probably learning new stuff is not gonna happen. So having things like PlayStation in place, Netflix and binging whenever you're awake is gonna help you to take the mind of the fact that you just had a pretty major surgery. So I hope this helped. And if you have any questions, drop them below and I'll get back to you with my personal experience. Stay strong.